I'm Steve Condren. Uh, I live here in the beautiful town of Milton, and uh, I was fortunate enough to be nominated for the Milton Sports Hall of Fame. We're at Mohawk uh, Racetrack, where I just grew up behind here, and I've been coming here since I was 10 years old, so uh, that's quite a while. So it's kind of ironic that we're here where it all started. Um, so yeah, so uh, like I said, I grew up close to here and got involved with the horses and the racetrack was close and there was some local farmers that race horses around here and I got started learning, you know, the trade from them and, you know, we had horses on the farm and uh, just a matter of, you know, that's the way it progressed, I liked it. I guess I got my license in 1977 and you have to qualify a bunch of you know, different horses to get it. And I won my very first race, it was my very first parimutuel start, which meaning was my very first actual horse race. And that was in a small town up north of here called Orangeville, Ontario. So that was 1977. It got off to a very slow start because my next win came a year later in Batavia, New York. So it took a full year, basically, to get uh, my second win and uh, just progressed from there. I ended up racing a, a lot in Buffalo and Batavia, New York. And then we came back to um, the Woodbine, or the Greenwood Mohawk Woodbine area and uh, started on my own in 1980 and just progressed from there. And you talk about fantastic moments. Well, I remember one of my most things I remember, and you wouldn't think this, but there was a cheap 6,000 claimer, we used to call them. Wins six in a row for me at Greenwood Raceway. And I can't remember what year that was, 81, maybe 82. And believe it or not, all the, won a lot of nice races. That always sticks in my mind because it jump-started my career. So 40 years later, the end of 2017, I decided to quit. So it's been a 40-year 40 40 career. Do you miss it? Well, I, I kind of do in a way. Um, I don't miss the muddy nights and the cold nights and the nights of finishing up the racetrack. But um, I, I, I keep in touch with it, you know, I do a little... Uh, uh, training in the spring, helping people with their young horses, and I've been doing it in Florida for the last six winters, except for last year because of COVID. And uh, so I keep my hand in it, and it keeps me interested. You know, not much really else to say except uh, it's been a quite a quite a good ride.